Welcome to the Chemistry, Biology, and Math Revision Hub. Today we are doing the Pearsonet Excel International A Level and GCE Biology Practicals. This is Core Practical 10, Part 4. This experiment studies the effects of changing carbon dioxide concentration on the rate of photosynthesis. Investigating the effects of changing carbon dioxide concentration on the rate of photosynthesis of an aquatic plant. The experimental setup is as we can see here. We have a beaker of water. A thermometer is inserted in order to ensure that the temperature remains constant. We have a pondweed, and this is the plant we're trying to study. The pondweed has a cut end, and the cut end is positioned facing the capillary tubing. The capillary tubing is filled with water, and on the other side, a syringe is connected in order to collect the volume of gas. During this experiment, the side of the beaker is going to be covered with an aluminum foil in order to ensure that the light does not come to the beaker from this direction. That means light is going to come from only one source and we can control the amount of light that the plant is exposed to. We can position a colored filter in between the light source and the experimental setup to ensure that the plant is exposed to the same wavelength. In this experiment, we have to control the temperature, so we need to use a water bath in order to ensure that this temperature does not change. Since we are varying the concentration of carbon dioxide used, all the other factors have to remain constant. So make the temperature constant using a water bath. Make sure the light intensity is constant by ensuring that the light source is positioned at a specific non-changing distance from the experimental setup. And using the same color filter will ensure that the wavelength does not change. So the procedure is as below. Place a piece of pondweed, approximately 10 centimeters long in a large beaker of water. Remove bubbles gently by running a finger and thumb over the surface of the pondweed and the water. Cover one side of the beaker with aluminum foil so the light can only enter the beaker from the other side. Add 0.5 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate to the water and leave for five minutes. Then position the bench lamp at about 10 centimeters from the beaker. Allow the pondweed to adjust for five minutes and then fill the capillary tubing of the photosynthometer with water. Place the funnel end of the tubing in the beaker of water and position the pondweed with the cut end at the top of the funnel. Attach a paper clip at the opposite end of the pondweed to position its weight correctly. As bubbles of gas begin to form and pass through the capillary tubing, you need to start the stop clock. This ensures that the experiment is carried out within the same period of time. And after a suitable time, use a syringe to collect the oxygen produced in the capillary tube. Then recall the volume of gas produced. This could be recorded in a table. Use the syringe to refill the capillary tubing and then begin to record again. Using the stem pondweed apparatus, carry out experiments using different masses of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Ensure to carry out repeat experiments at each mass and collect the gas produced. If a graph is required, Draw a graph of volume of gas produced on the vertical axis and mass of carbon dioxide used on the x-axis. You need to control the temperature using a water bath. You need to control light intensity by positioning the lamp at the same distance from the experimental setup while using aluminum foil on the other side in order to prevent light entering into the experimental setup from that side. You can also control wavelength by using the same color filter throughout all the experiments. So that is how you can describe an experiment to determine the effect of changing carbon dioxide concentration on the rate of photosynthesis of an aquatic plant. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for being with us. Do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.